In this section, we are learning about what's called the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is one method for solving quadratic equations. Right here we have a general quadratic equation. ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. Quadratic equations have up to two solutions. Next to this we have what's called the quadratic formula. This is a formula that we can use to find solutions of this quadratic equations. The x here represents the solutions that will satisfy this quadratic equation. They're equal to this expression. It seems like a lot. However, it's really just the same letters a, b, and c that you see here in the general quadratic equation. The a coefficient of the ax squared term is the same a that's here in the formula. The b of the bx term is the same b that's here in the formula. And the c here, the non-variable term, is the same c that you see in the formula here. When we're using the quadratic formula, we're taking these a, b, and c values from the quadratic equation, plugging them into this formula, and then simplifying to find the x values that satisfy the quadratic equation. Let's see an example where we're actually using this method to solve a quadratic equation. So here with example two, we have quadratic equation x squared plus three x plus two equals zero. In this equation, the coefficient of the x squared term would be one, hence a equals one. The coefficient of the three x term is three, hence b equals three. The non-variable term is two, hence c equals two. So using the quadratic formula, x would equal negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus four times a times c, all divided by two times a. To simplify this, we'll start with what's inside the square root. Three squared is nine. Four times one times two equals eight. So we have nine minus eight, which is one. The square root of one is one. So now we have negative three plus or minus one divided by two. The plus or minus here is how we get our two different solutions. They are negative three plus one divided by two or negative three minus one divided by two. Negative three plus one is negative two divided by two is negative one. Negative three minus one is negative four divided by two is negative two. Hence, x equals negative one or negative two. These are the two solutions that satisfy this equation. And we could check them by plugging those values into the equation and simplifying. So for example, if we let x equal negative one here, we'd have negative one squared is one plus negative one times three would be negative three. So you'd have negative three plus one, negative two plus two would then be zero. So you would get zero equals zero, which would satisfy the equation, hence proving that x equals negative one is one solution.